little unique having so many guys back. Obviously, Nate being the only newcomer to the program, uh, you know, having a handful of guys at the upper class level back. Obviously, with Kevin and Mark missing uh, an extended period of time, it's good to get the experience back. It's been also unique that the sophomores how they go through what they went through last year as freshmen and really don't know the extent of how good Mark can really be. Denzel actually made the comment the other day watching film. I didn't realize Mark was that good. You know, they haven't played with him yet. So these first th two or three weeks of practice have been important for us to kind of mesh those thoughts and those feelings and understanding of each other, you know, back. You know, and that's one thing that we lost last year with the absence of Mark and then towards the end of the season without Kevin. And yes, they got good experience, they were able to play, uh, but it was futile at times. You know, there was a, there's a lot they couldn't get done just by virtue of being young and having to go through it the first time. We liked that we were able to throw them into the fire in hindsight because now there's nothing new for them. The only guy that really will experience anything new will be Nate. Uh, and he's done a great job kind of integrating himself and his ability with the team, knowing it's an experienced team, it's a veteran team. Uh, and he hasn't taken a back seat. So, you know, looking forward to seeing where the direction of our young guys can go with the leadership with our older guys. It's been a little bit of an adjustment on our part because we do have the experience. It's, it's similar to a little, in some ways, that we had in 2010. It's kind of the, the, the mirrored image of what happened in 09 when Kevin was out. Um, hoping for the same type of results, of course, and I, I think we're cautious about putting the cart before the horse and, and definitely have addressed the things we needed to address to make sure that we're intact game by game. And a lot of that has to do with the upperclassmen that we have. Kyle, because Kyle's a guy that never plays, but has, has gained the respect of his teammates by not just owning the weight room aspect of where we can make an impact, but he's very driven, he's motivated. He already has a signed contract for a job to start his career as soon as he graduates. He's, it's already done. Uh, very proud of the fact he was able to do that. And he's worked hard all summer at, the, to gain, uh, at that uh, position to gain that opportunity. Uh, I'd say he's one of the more driven kids that we've ever had. To, to do it on his own dime uh, is, is uh, pretty admirable. You know, he's got some guys ahead of him that did the same thing in Nate and Phil. Uh, had some good guys to set the table for him, and uh, I'm excited about where he can go. I think Mark's dedicated. I think I mean, Mark's changed in the sense that he's realized a lot of things that he didn't before he got hurt. I think his, uh, it's opened his eyes a little bit towards the dedication that uh, he needed to have to get back, and I think he's dedicated to his teammates to make sure we have a good senior year. Uh, same thing with Kevin a little bit, too. I mean, Kevin obviously has had some success come his way individually. <clears throat> Certainly had a big part to do with our team success in 10. Uh, but losing the weight that he needed to lose to put himself in better condition, getting his mind right to have a good senior year to come back, not just graduate, but have the senior year that he needs to have to prove uh, and cap a great career. Uh, knows that that's going to happen through our team success. Uh, excited about the fact that Nee is kind of completing a six-year journey. We committed to us right going into his junior year, being down the road at Bellarmine. He's pretty much been a part of our program for almost six years now, and, and we've seen a lot of growth and maturity in him and need to develop the consistency uh, that we know we can get out of him. And if he does you know, provide that, he can be a really good player for us and, and have another great senior year along with some guys that have had to have similar, similar years in the past. He's got precedent set for him. Guys like Ben, guys like Troy and Mike a couple of years ago. Uh, and then Ray. I mean, Ray is a guy that comes from the furthest distance. Uh, <clears throat> Ray was the guy that I didn't see a lot of last spring and got a little concerned about that because I, I know he was really working hard at what he wanted to, to get accomplished in his senior year on and off the court. And he came back with four A's and a 4.0 GPA in the spring quarter in all upper division classes. Uh, got him over the 3.0 mark uh, overall GPA. Really proud of the fact that he worked a couple jobs on his own, but still found the time to put the time in on the court, and it's, it's shown. All of those guys did a lot of work on their own from a leadership standpoint. Uh, and I'm excited for them to have the type of year they deserve to have, having gone through what they went through last year, but also having experience as underclassmen a taste of success in 2010. Uh, so we're looking forward to the season, and, and mostly because of those five guys. I mean, you, you, the seniors are what you should always play for, because their career is on the clock right now. It's going to end. It's, it's hard to get any of that back, especially with two guys that are already in their fifth year doing it, Mark and Kevin. Uh, and I think they fully understand. I think the team understands that, and they'll start to grasp that more as the days pass.